we have some insight into Star Investment Partners and your investments, but why the emphasis on partners? Partnership isn't the most perfect thing in the world, but it's the nearest thing that I could come to, to a way of doing business. It's a philosophy. It's, a, it's about aligning yourself with people. And it doesn't have to be about equal and uh, equal gain or equal uh, 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 anything. It's just about recognizing that you're not working as a service provider with that person, but you're working aligned to them. And that alignment is vital. That's why we at Star Investment Partners are not looking to have thousands of partners because it would be quite difficult to have thousands of partners and align all of that. You'd have to have almost like a sausage machine approach to partnership, and we're definitely not that. We want personal relationships, we want deep relationships, and those take time to achieve, and they actually take time to find. So our ideal uh, in terms of partnership is to have perhaps 10, maybe 15 partners in, in, the, in, in our business, and those partners are financial advisors in our game. We're not looking to partner with end consumers directly, although we do have that relationship with uh, uh, end consumers uh, as a historical part of our business, but our essence is we partner with financial advisors. Financial advisors, like everybody, need you to trust them, and they need to trust you. And that trust leads on, and it's built over time, but it leads on to being able to be held accountable and to hold accountable, okay? For responsibility, people have got different roles to play in partnerships, but they need to know what those roles are and they need to be held to account, well, they need to be held accountable for the responsibilities they've got. So the philosophy of partnership is fundamental to how we, as uh, star investment partners, deal with all those parties out there. And as I said, partnership is not a perfect thing. It's not, there isn't, in my, in my experience, there's no perfection. But when you end a partnership, and things do end, we acknowledge that, we want to leave with dignity, all right, and most importantly, with our souls intact, all right? It's not just about how much money did I make out of this. I want to know that when I leave something that didn't work, I do it with dignity and my soul intact. And I think that's the philosophy that we bring to and why, why partnerships are important. We, we've been fortunate enough over the years to experience partnership in many different forms. One of the most exciting ones that I've discovered more recently, and one that we work with closely, is a group that is large, that have worked out the partnership model to scale. This partnership is over 110 years old. It's based in Edinburgh, it's an investment manager, and it has 39 partners in it. But what makes this very, very interesting, all right, is that these partners have no limited liability. They are all unlimited partners, which means that they are completely and utterly at risk. Their entire lives, livelihood, financial wealth is linked to the success of this investment business, which manages in, in excess of $250 billion. Also, their oldest client, which they've had almost since inception, is still running today, is a listed company on the London Stock Exchange, and is one of the most successful investment trusts you can find. To me, that is an epitome of a successful partnership, one that's got longevity, it's got aligned interests, and quite interestingly, the longer you are together, the less and less this thing costs financially. So you can actually use longevity to the benefit of the consumer by bringing down the cost of managing investments.